Introducing the 2018-3 Schrodinger release. Let's take a look at some of the new features and updates. A new and improved trajectory viewer is now embedded within Maestro. The simple and modernized interface exposes all the essential trajectory frame controls while providing full view to the workspace. Trimming the timeline to isolate a period of interest can be performed easily by dragging in the beginning and end handles. Playback settings are easily accessed on the right, where there are basic controls for adjusting the trajectory speed, frames per step, smoothing, and play direction, as well as conveniently hiding atoms that might be of less interest to show, such as those beyond the binding site. View positioning settings are also available here, such as choosing the reference frame and structure to align on. Trajectories can also be exported as structures, images, or as a movie, and where these dialogues have also been redesigned to improve usability and offer better default settings. Also in Maestro, when creating new custom sets, which can easily be done from the selections made in the structure hierarchy, the Custom Sets Manager, available via the Quick Select toolbar, allows one to edit and further customize the sets. and ultimately make selecting your own common atom sets more convenient. Among the tasks and application panels, we see a new panel for setting up solubility FEP jobs, built in with the ability to submit to web services with the appropriate credentials. Speaking of FEP, additional improvements have been made to the FEP Plus panel a link to the FEP Plus Best Practices document is now conveniently shown on the loading panel. The document describes best practices derived from the deployment of FEP Plus in drug discovery projects conducted by Schrodinger and how issues with FEP Plus are identified and commonly addressed. Over in the main FEP Plus panel, selecting the hot regions or the core atoms in a ligand no longer requires temporarily unlocking ligand entries. This reduces any risk of altering the ligand poses, yet still allows atom selections to be made. The FEP map also displays a handy legend for displaying the perturbation properties. Alongside the correlation plot is a histogram of the FEP plus edge error magnitudes of the delta delta G. This allows users to quickly see whether any predictions are outside the mean error. Also, the exported plot is now formatted as a PDF with useful information included below. The synchronization between the map and the analysis table has been improved. Now, selecting an edge or multiple edges in the map selects the corresponding rows in the analysis table. Similarly, selecting one or multiple rows in the analysis table highlights them in the map. Also, notice new columns for solvation delta delta Gs, one click access to trajectory data, both solvent and complex legs, as well as one-click access to the edge analysis reports. Opening the reports in separate windows allows multiple charts to be compared side by side without having to switch back and forth between edges or be delayed by loading times. Of the QM tasks, the Jaguar PKA panel has two additional methods for selecting the PKA atom. Rather than manually picking the PKA atom for each ligand, the PKA atoms can either be identified automatically, or specific PKA atoms can be identified by providing a smarts pattern, then specifying the PKA atom in the smarts pattern. New improvements are also seen in the pose viewer panel, where various color ramps can be applied on poses that have per residue energies calculated. Over in the reaction-based enumeration panel, still in beta, the reaction smarts for each reaction can be viewed and directly modified. And now, in addition to property filters, smarts filters are also supported to filter out incoming reactants and enumerated products. A new option in the structure hierarchy allows one to display only polar hydrogens when re-displaying structures. 
In other words, when toggling the display states to on, all atoms become visible, while any non-polar hydrogens will conveniently remain undisplayed. But also notice that when polar hydrogens aren't displayed, or any hydrogens for that matter, the hydrogen bonds can still be visible. And finally, mixed solvent molecular dynamics can now be run via the command line and supports a number of co-solvent probes by default. Mixolvent MD is used as a hotspot mapping technique that relies on MD simulations of proteins in binary solvent mixtures. Visualizing the hotspots in Maestro may assist in revealing allosteric sites, characterizing druggable binding pockets, or predicting protein-protein interactions among several other applications. The method can be used to complement other methods like sitemap and watermap. These are just a few of the highlights of the 2018-3 Schrodinger release. As always, for the complete list of all previous enhancements and features, visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features.